guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here and today I'm going to show you a tutorial of this cute little Amigurumi popsicle. I love this little guy, it's a short and quick tutorial thankfully. So for supplies you are going to need a 3.5mm crochet hook or just one that you are most comfortable with depending on the weight of yarn you're working with. You're also going to need a stitch marker, this is one I use, they interlock, it's actually pretty nice. going to need a yarn needle and of course some safety eyes. I have tons and tons and tons of these. And you will need something to stuff it with. Sometimes I use scrap yarn and but most of the time I use that polyfill. So for the popsicle color I'm using this pale yellow and for the stick I am using this off brown color I guess is what you could say. And you need some scissors. <laughs> So to start, we are going to take our pale yellow yarn, which is the one I'm using for the popsicle itself, wrap it around your finger to make a loop, go ahead and pinch it, and pull the loop so it's a little bit bigger. This is creating a slip knot. So we are going to go ahead and reach through that loop and grab the working yarn, pull it through, and there we go. So then you insert your crochet hook into this little loop that you made and pull the working yarn to tighten it. Now we are going to chain six, but before we do that, I'll show you how I hold my yarn. I go under my pinky finger, over my two middle fingers, and then back under my pointer finger. Then we go ahead and pinch it at the hook, and to chain, we're just going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then repeat that until you make six. I will be putting the pattern in the description box as well, in case I didn't say that already, I might have. <laughs> Sorry if I sound off today, I am pretty sick and I'm getting over it. This is the first time I've been able to do a voiceover. <laughs> so from this chain six, that is our row one, we are going to single crochet increase. So we are going to go into not the braid closest to the hook, but the one next to it. So I get my camera to focus a little bit here. So we're going to insert into that little braid right there. Make sure two loops are on top and one is on the bottom when you insert your crochet hook. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, so we have two loops. Yarn over, pull through, both of those loops, and now we only have one on the hook. So that was one single crochet. Now to single crochet increase, we're gonna do the same thing in that same exact stitch. So we are going to go ahead and insert our hook into that same spot and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Now that is a single crochet increase. Now we are going to single crochet 10, and six, since our chain is only six, we are going to go ahead and just go around it to create an oval. So that is one single crochet, two, and then I will tell you to do what to do once we get to the end of it. That was our fourth one. As you can tell, I crocheted that. I started the chain a little too tight, so I had a little bit of problem getting into that spot right there. <laughs> All right, so that was our fourth single crochet. Now the fifth one I'm going to do in that exact same spot, but I'm going to hold the chain so it's vertical. So that way we start creating this little oval shape. So there is our fifth single crochet. If at any time you need to pause and catch up, go ahead and do so. If I can remember to hold my stuff in frame. There we go. So now we are going to go ahead and go over the back side of that single crochet line we just did. So you're going to only have one piece of yarn over your hook when you insert it. So there is single crochet number six. single crochet number seven and this creates the foundation of our popsicle so that way it has that nice flat bottom there's eight there is nine and by this point it should look like an almost complete oval and we are going to do ten right there once I can get my hook in there again. <laughs> there.
there we go. And there is 10. So there is our oval. This is what your strip should look like by now. It's kind of an oval, but we don't have the roundness on the other end yet. So now we're going on to row three. You don't need a stitch marker yet, but it will come into play after this. This one is a little complicated. We're going to go ahead and single crochet just one. Then we're going to single crochet increase into the next space. So that is two single crochets into the same stitch. There is one, and then there is two. Now we are going to single crochet three stitches next. One in each space. So we're going to go one, two, and then three. And now we are going to increase again. So two single crochets in the next stitch. This is giving that popsicle the nice popsicle shape, if that makes sense. The little kind of oval half cylinder that's squished. <laughs> now we're going to single crochet one. And we are going to single crochet increase once again. Single crochet three. So we're pretty much mirroring what was on the opposite side. So one, two, and three. And then to finish that off, we are just going to single crochet increase once more. So one, two, in the same spot. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my stitch marker in this spot so I know exactly where we left off and what the start of the row is. Now we are on to row four. This is going to be crocheting in the back loop only. This is what's going to get our popsicle to have a flat bottom as well and to go upwards. So the back loop. You see how there's that little V on top of your chain right there, of your single crochets? You're going to go in the one that is away from you. So you're going to go just under one strand of yarn and then single crochet. I will show you again. There's that little V. We're going to go in the back loop of that and then just simply single crochet. One more time, just into the back loop. There it is, and we are going to repeat this process all the way around until you hit that stitch marker again. Alright, once you're close to that stitch marker, go ahead and take it out. Do one more single crochet in the back loop only where that stitch marker was. And then we are going to go ahead and pop that stitch marker back in. Now we are on to rows 5 through 11. And let me tell you something, they are the exact same thing, which is very nice. We are just going to single crochet all the way around until we hit that back loop. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump, um, until we hit that stitch marker, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going ahead and jump back once I get to row 11. And we are ready to move on to row 12 once I know how to actually crochet. There we go. <laughs> so this is just row five to clarify that again. So row five, then it will be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So here I am finishing row eleven. You'll see my popsicle has grown to be a popsicle shape. I'm single crocheting in that last stitch and then popping my stitch marker back in. And then at this time I'm going to go ahead and add my eyes. I pull up the working yarn that I was working with so that way it doesn't get in the way and I don't lose any stitches. I grab my eyes and I kind of just mess with the placement a little bit. I like to put them kind of off to the side of the popsicle. Now safety eyes, you got to make sure they're where you want them when you commit because once you put that little washer on there is no getting them off without scrapping your whole project and starting again. <laughs> I have been in that situation. So I pop them in first. Take a look at it, see if I like where those are. Kind of stretch it out so you know what it's like when it's stuffed. And then go ahead and you pop that washer on the back. I know I don't show it well the first time, but I tried to show it a little better the second time. 
you just put that little washer on and pop it so it goes over at least one of those ridges on the back of the safety eye. Turn that inside out. There we go. So I'm going to take that washer, pop it on, and push it down so it locks in. And there it is. So now we are going on to row 12. This is when we are going to start decreasing. The only stitches you need to know for this thing are a single crochet, a single crochet increase, and a decrease. So now what we are going to do is we are going to single crochet one, then I'm going to do a decrease, which is where I go through the front loop. We were working with the back one before. It's just the front strand, yarn over, pull through. Then I go through the front loop of the next one, yarn over, pull through. And then I yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So that is a decrease. So we're going to do that one more time. So we're going to insert our hook into the front loop only, yarn over, pull through. The next front loop, yarn over, pull through. And then yarn over, pull through all three. So that was two decreases. So now we're going to single crochet one. And then we are going to decrease two more times. I'm going to speed this up a little bit here. And you're just going to repeat that process of single crocheting one, then decreasing two, until we hit that stitch marker. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and stuff my little popsicle before that opening gets any smaller at all. Alright, and then we're going to start on our last row, which is just a single crochet and then a decrease all the way around. I don't even bother inserting my stitch marker for this because this is where we're going to close it off. So one, and then we're going to decrease. One single crochet. And then a decrease. And just continue this around until your opening gets pretty small. It doesn't have to be completely closed yet because we are going to do that with the yarn needle. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut off my yarn, leaving a pretty long tail, decently long, and then you're just going to pull it straight through like that. <laughs> that closes off our project. And now I'm going to grab the yarn needle, after giving him a couple little squishes first. There he is, he's looking super cute. Grab the yarn needle, I fold it over the needle and then pull it so that way it's nice and flat like that and then just pop it through the eye. You don't need to tie anything off here, just leave a pretty decently long tail through the eye of the needle. And what we are going to do is just weave this back and forth around the opening. So I'm going to go ahead and insert into the next stitch, I mean into the first single crochet pretty much from where we fastened off, then go back through the next one. I'm going to go in through the next one and then back out through the next one. <laughs> Just continue that around until you hit back where you started. Once we're back where we started, we just pull that tightly as I will show you. There we go. And that closes off our project right there. So then I go ahead and pick a spot next to where I finished. I insert my yarn needle and then I go ahead and insert it back through that loop to kind of tie a knot. And then I do that once more so I double knot it. That way that end is nice and secure. Then I go ahead and stick my yarn needle in nearby to where I just finished. And I push it all the way through until it pokes out somewhere random. Pull the yarn all the way through. Pull it a little snug, not too, too tight and then snip it off close to your project so that way that end vanishes in there. So now we have completed the main part of our popsicle. Now we're onto the stick which is pretty easy. You just need to know how to magic ring for this and single crochet. So to magic ring you start off like a slip knot, you pull that loop upwards, 
and then you go ahead and insert your crochet hook into that loop, yarn over, and pull through that loop, and then yarn over, pull through to chain one. So you're making this little hoop, go ahead and pinch it so it holds tight at your hook. Then we're going to single crochet six times into this loop. Make sure you are going over both the loop and that end of yarn that's hanging off. So we are at two, three, four. It's important that you keep that little tail end of yarn and you're working over that as well. Because what's going to happen is you're going to pull that little tail end and it is going to close that loop. Like magic. There it is. <laughs> now this popsicle stick is super easy. I have it written down to do two um, through five rows, but really just single crochet around it until it gets to the length you want it. It's however long you want this popsicle stick. I kind of measured it. You're not increasing or decreasing anything. You are just single crocheting around this little loop. Kind of tight to work with but just however is easiest for you to do it. <laughs> and I also like to snip off that little end because we're not going to stuff it at all so that little end of yarn can just get in the way. Alright, so that is about how long I made my stick. Not too long, not too short. I'm going to go ahead and fasten it off the same way I did the popsicle, leaving a decently long tail because we are going to sew it on. You go ahead and just flatten it, no need to stuff it at all. We're going to grab our yarn needle once again, and I am just measuring it to make sure it's where I want it, right in the middle of the popsicle there. So we're going to go ahead and thread our yarn needle. And then you can pin this into place with some straight pins if you want to. I've made tons of these, so I'm pretty good at just eyeballing where I want the stick to go because I know exactly where it needs to go on those little loops at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and just simply stitch this on. I like to go ahead and work through each single crochet around the popsicle stick separately, if that makes sense, instead of sewing straight through it. So that way you are only putting your yarn into the main popsicle body pulling through and then putting it into just one single crochet of the stitch of the stick and I'm just making sure that it's staying flat and that I'm not puffing it out too much. It's good to go around that little foundation chain that we made in the beginning. It's You can tell kind of where it is because it's a little bit thicker than the rest of the popsicle base so it's a little bit easier to measure where you want that stick to be. And if you kind of stay around that, then your popsicle stick will stay pretty flat against the popsicle itself. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and knot off the yarn the same way I did when we closed the popsicle itself by making a little loop and then inserting my yarn needle back through that loop as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and once again poke that yarn needle all the way through in the space that I can find that it will fit. <laughs> so it pokes out somewhere random, go ahead and pull that snug and snip off close to your project. And there we have it! You have made this tiny little cute popsicle! <laughs> you can put it on a keychain, on a hair clip, on anything you want to. I'm going to go ahead and do something cool with mine that you will see in a later video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was informative, and go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!